today I'd like to talk about why I keep saying you can't go to war with these idiots, okay? If you go to war, you gotta prepare yourself. You need to be fit mentally and physically. Okay, you need to be prepared for anything. You need to be highly, extremely flexible and extremely adaptable to changes. So what I'm <clears throat> what I'm saying is a uh, what I'm saying is a uh, say for example right you're in the battlefield right you're you're uh, you're at war okay let's say it's freaking World War Three or some shit like that okay so let's say you're at war right and you're uh, fighting for example Syria or some shit just fighting the enemy right it could be any enemy but the setting is you know. Uh, you were told by your commander to uh, go ahead and meet at uh, an operating post, an OP. Let's say like OP, OP2 or something, an operating post at a at a checkpoint. Okay, so this OP is located in a checkpoint. Let's say checkpoint. Uh, 15 or something like that okay checkpoint 15 and then you say roger right and then with your skills as a soldier you know you you, you know that uh, to minimize your damage to minimize danger if you're gonna go to checkpoint 15 then you need to camouflage yourself okay you want to minimize the bullets that you shoot downrange so you don't waste ammo you you don't waste ammunition okay so you you're gonna be like hey you know uh i think it's it makes sense if uh, we go through the rough terrain whether it's whatever terrain like trees like you know uh, sand or what, what else what hell ever you know whatever whatever it may be so you tell your your comrades to hey you know uh, let's take the harder route because uh, the tougher route because uh, not the harder route but the smarter route you know I know that it's a rough terrain out there I know there's a lot of trees I know there's a lot of garbage out there or there's a lot of uh, well not garbage but there's a lot of uh, how would I say this uh, a lot of uh, it's a good word for, good word for this I'm looking for a word uh, There's a lot of uh, obstacles in the area, but those obstacles, if we are careful, if we low crawl, okay, if we go at night and we low crawl, we, we can get to our destination extremely safe and nobody, the enemy will not notice us, okay, because we go at night or early as hell in the morning and we're gonna either, you know, uh, sprint and hide okay sprint and hide somewhere or we're gonna low crawl or we're gonna you know use our soldiering skills and our stealth tactics okay and some dumbass okay a simp dumbass says you know hey uh i know there's a highway that's going on the other side of the road uh, on the side on the side of the hill we can just turn around and just like get to our destination and you know I don't mind, you know, getting into a war fight, you know, I know there's a lot of enemies right there, but hey, you know, we get there on time, man. We get there on time. See, you know, you start using your logic, you'll be like, it doesn't really matter if they tell you there to meet up there at like, you know, a 1400 or 1300, meaning it's 2 p.m. or, you know, 3 p.m. or 10 a.m. The time really doesn't matter as long as you get there safely, okay? So, <clears throat> they usually give you these uh, instruct I mean, uh, not instructions, but uh, quote-unquote orders, okay? To get that, to get, to execute, right? As a soldier. And then it's up to you, whatever strategy you use, to execute that order, execute that mission, okay? They give you a mission and then that's what it is. It's not an order, it's a mission. So, you know, you get to your destination, based on your 
intelligence as a soldier based on your experience as a soldier okay so I would take the harder out okay I, I would take the harder right than the easier wrong okay the easier wrong that the simp says you know it, it's easy because you're gonna drive in the motherfucking highway but you're gonna be exposed to some motherfucker okay everybody's gonna motherfucking see you of course they're gonna fucking shoot you because they know you're freaking you're dressed in a uniform and shit okay so you mean to tell me you're gonna freaking risk fucking Humvee you're gonna waste the motherfucking gas you're gonna waste the motherfucking ammo just to get to your destination okay why not okay why not have it dropped off by you know a, a chopper okay on the way and just like stealth low crawl your your way when it's you know when it's dark or when it's you know nighttime or when it's like really early in the morning and then just get there okay just get there in the next destination you know have like a, a chopper uh, recon the area a little bit just you know just to make sure there's no bombs in there so no roadside bombs no enemies hiding right there and then just you know go right on okay go right on it so that I mean to me that's that's a more tactical way that's you know it's you plan ahead of time you know this is why I think ahead of time the INFJ mind thinks ahead of time so that's, that's what I do I and mean, that's what I would do if I was the commander you know I would give them that I would just like give them hey you know this is an option that you can do okay it's the safer route like why would I risk the lives of my soldiers for some bullshit you know oh you gotta you gotta get to this uh, checkpoint you gotta get to this fucking uh, destination blah 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 and then I, I know some of these uh, narcs will freaking some of these uh, narcissists or simps will you know will rush you and shit so that's you know that's not the best way so that, that's the main reason why I, so now I thoroughly explained why I say, you know, I don't want to go to war with these idiots, man. These motherfuckers will really get you motherfucking killed. You don't want to go to war with them and shit. Motherfuckers have like zero discipline. They're motherfucking out of shape, okay? Even if you're eating, okay, let's say even if you're eating like bad food on occasion, okay? Just to fill up your tank, just to tank, uh, fill, uh, top off your tank for a little bit because you're running like so many miles and shit. Dude, that shit is negligent. I mean, uh, not negligent, but uh, it's negligible, okay? The shit, if you're eating, you know, 90% healthy, you're eating 95% healthy, then the 5% that you eat don't fucking matter. You see what I'm saying? It's, even if I fucking eat fries, I fucking drown myself in fucking ketchup on a Saturday evening or fucking on just uh, a, uh, a Saturday you know, this is the whole day of Saturday. I'm not gonna motherfucking die because I'm fucking, I'm still working out and 90% of the time or 95% of the time, I'm eating motherfucking healthy, okay? It's not bullshit, it's science, bro. So, I hope we get similar, uh, this, this kind of a similar logic in making, you know, political decisions when it comes to this stupid ass virus and shit, man. So, peace out.